The Bishop Airlock came about about six years ago from market demand from our payloads that were using uh, the Kibo Airlock on board the ISS. We were getting to a point where we were deploying a lot of CubeSats from the International Space Station as well as small satellites. Um, and what we found was that the station did not have the throughput that was necessary to support the customer interest that we had. So the Kibo Airlock can handle a payload roughly the size of a microwave oven. Well, when we developed the airlock, we said we want something much larger than that, but we were able to create a, an airlock that's five times the size of the Kibo airlock. The beauty of this airlock compared to some of our air, other airlocks is its size, and so we can have different configurations of hardware that go in and out of it, which I think is just awesome. One of the most impressive things I think with Bishop and the um, inspiration that the team had putting it together is all the various ways that we can utilize it. Um, we actually have the ability to deploy small satellites, we have the ability to deploy multiple CubeSats and a Constellation type uh, configuration for deployment. We have of course the hosted payload opportunities as well, so really there's a lot of different ways that, that Airlock can be utilized on station. It can handle internal payloads, so we can uh, mount payloads on the inside of the airlock and they can run operations in the lab environment of the space station, so ambient pressures and, and uh, normal uh, temperature regimes. So for example, the project that I've been working on for the last uh, year and a half uh, is actually a robotics demonstration uh, which will happen inside of the airlock um, separate from the crew but inside of the airlock on space station. And then we also have the ability to host payloads on the outside of the airlock so payloads that may want to go be exposed to the vacuum of space and the temperature extremes of space. So three different areas that the, uh, the airlock is, it has the ability to do all in one facility. I think what's really well suited of course anything that needs to be exposed to a vacuum um, that maybe needs to be changed out so you have an experiment where you you put something to exposed to a vacuum, bring it back in, you change something out and put it outside again. On station, the crew will support us by taking the payload once it's on the station and translating it to inside of Bishop, putting it inside of Bishop, and then once it's actually there and successfully secured, um, they would close the hatch and then we'd actually remove Bishop using the robotic arm and we're actually gonna move it out into a, into a docked location. We're gonna park it there. And the robotic arm can then release from the airlock and then go in and reach inside the airlock, retrieve the experiment, maneuver it out to the outside and install it on the outside of the airlock or any other position on the space station and then the airlock itself can then be retrieved and returned back to node 3 and to do it all over again. So the different types of environments and the flexibility to do those in different ways I think is very cool. The airlock is a, is a great facility to dream big, be creative, really think of things that people haven't really thought of before and uh, let's put her to use. I want to give a big, big thanks to the NRX team because it is, uh, it is great to have more on the space station and I am really excited about the possibilities of new research and more research up here. So good job to everybody. Congratulations. Job well done.